So our sexual health, our mental health and our physical health are kind of all interlocked. So each kind of has a knock-on effect on each other. And our health sexual is extremely important. I think that when we are so preocupied with other parts of our body, I think estar preocupado, informado sobre a nossa saúde sexual é fundamental e parte de quem somos. So, I suppose good sexual health would be um, it's not just the absence of sexually transmitted infections, it would also incorporate somebody being able to advocate for the kind of relationships that they want and um, being free in their sexuality. So, our sexuality, our sexual expression, our gender identity, our self-expression, they're all part of our sexual health. And when our sexual health is good, generally, we are healthier. To me, good sexual health means having the knowledge, skills and the abilities to make informed decisions around your sexual health, to kind of look after yourself and your partner or your partners. Um, I suppose sexual health can be a difficult subject for people to engage with. Um, it's something that can be embarrassing for people. And I suppose here at the Sexual Health Centre, we aim to remove that shame and embarrassment that people can feel um, about their sexual health so that they can properly engage in looking after their sexual health. I think when it comes to comfort levels around sexual health, everybody's different. Some people walk in here and they they have a swagger in their step. They're delighted to be engaging in conversations. They'll make the most of every single service that's available to them. Other people wouldn't even know where to begin to start the conversation. Um, sometimes I think it's because people feel they're going to be talking about sex. But actually, mainly what we talk about is fear, concern, and pleasure. What is important is that people feel free to access the services that are available to them. And what I would like to remind people of is that when they do access one of these services, they are going to be meeting professionals who aren't going to judge them. They're also going to be meeting human beings who are flawed in their own ways. So, you know, um, I suppose removing that fear of judgment would be a message I would like to send out to people when engaging on their sexual health. We can provide outreach anywhere. We've done it in pubs, clubs, hotels, shopping centres. We've done it in educational institutes, homeless hostels, drugs agencies. We've done it over Zoom, down the phone. You name it, wherever you are, we can come to you. I believe that if alguma pessoa que estiver assistindo tem algum preocupação com a saúde sexual deles, e para ir procurar uns serviços, que os serviços aqui na Irlanda eles são gratuitos e eles são para todo mundo, é confidencial e é rápido, seguro e de graça. The services that Gosh provide for GBMSM and trans communities are, I suppose, the first thing I need to say is that we are a registered MSM testing checkpoint. Um, beyond that. Absolutely every single one of our services is available to GB, MSM and the trans community. We work with gender and orientation in a way that is absolutely integrated. So our training, our support, our counselling, our free condoms, our peer support, our group services, they are all available to everybody. And anybody who comes in here will be ensured of a respectful and safe response.